What's good, you guys? Pretty boy Sean. And I'm finally back with another video. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, hold on. Oh, uh, walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like oh my gosh, y'all. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, look, it's tough. Okay, you guys know. I'm bio major, I'm trying to get through school. It's the last month of school. I'm trying to stay focused, you know. I'm trying to stay here with it. You gotta, you guys gotta just bear with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm, I've been really focused on school, you know. I gotta make these grades, you guys know. Um, but I do apologize for not getting out any videos or anything like that. But um, definitely gonna, gonna get some more videos coming soon, especially after the semester is over. I can really get back into it, but you know, right now I'm just kind of focused, so. I'm making this quick video to let you guys know I'm still here, I'm still rocking, you know. I think watch you guys all the time, like, I always be like, damn, I need to make a video, but I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I just been focused on school. Hope you guys can understand that, you know. But uh, yeah, um, so this video, quick little video, I'm gonna talk about just kind of six tips for like natural hair growth, right? So while I'm doing this, I'm also gonna start taking my hair out because I've been wanting to take my hair out. I did these myself probably like a week or so ago week and some days um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take these out and i'm gonna give you guys tips for natural hair growth right so tip number one tip number one is genetics right genetics play a big role in like your hair right because theoretically we all have like a like a cap on like how long our hair can grow so your genetics definitely play a huge part to like how fast your hair grows. You know what I'm saying? Especially if like someone of like a mixed descent, their hair tend, their hair, you know, usually tends to grow a little bit faster than someone, you know, who's just regular, you know, African American or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So your genetics definitely play a role into um, how fast your hair grows and then theoretically how long it, it can grow right so just just gotta take that into account like you can't just compare your hair to everybody else's that you see on youtube because you know they they don't have the same hair as you you know what i'm saying so don't just get discouraged about other people you see on youtube and like how long their hair is and things like that now the next tip is moisturize right and when i say moisturize i really mean your scalp think of your scalp kind of like like you're watering a plant. In order to grow the plant, what do you have to do? You have to water the roots, right? Now the roots of your hair is your scalp. In order for your hair to grow, it comes from your scalp. So in order for your scalp to grow, you have to keep it fed, moisturized, you know, healthy. So just remember to always keep your scalp moisturized, especially after you wash, like after you get done washing, um, Make sure that you definitely go in, go back in and moisturize your scalp. Like try to maybe use like a um, like an oil that'll really help to like seal in all that moisture from the water and you know conditioning, you know anything like that you use. Um, that'll definitely help. Uh, third tip I have for you guys is to be gentle. You know, like you don't have to always just just be going ham. You know, combing your hair, going stupid. Like you don't have to. It doesn't have to be like that. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could, you could be light with it. You could definitely be light. Um, take your time. That's that's what I really um, try to tell people to just take their time whenever they're like doing their hair because the if you rush it and you just you know going through really hard, you're gonna get a lot of breakage and that's ultimately what you don't want because your hair is breaking off and you know you nobody wants breakage. Nobody wants to be dealing with breakage hair. Um, so yeah, just definitely be gentle with your hair. Like it's okay. Yeah, it might be tedious, but take your time, and and your your results will your results will still be good, right? Now, the fourth one is the scalp massage. We've all heard about scalp massage, right? Um, just just every night, even if you don't have any like tools, just go in with your fingers. Just go in with your fingers. Just kind of get it in real good all over you know the bottom the back top just make sure you get it in really well usually i i can tell when my scalp is like really really like massage is when like it starts turning red like it has like a like a reddish kind of kind of color that's that's the usually indicator where i could tell that like i'm getting blood circulated to my scalp which and ultimately promotes for hair growth so scalp massages definitely definitely are a plus being consistent with them definitely can go a long way um 
you can really tell when you're being consistent. You're just kind of doing it every now and again, you know, like, eh, yeah, like you're not really going to see significant results as much as you were to, were to constantly do it like every day, let's say for like a month or something. So I would say try that. Um, definitely be consistent with your scalp massages. And the fifth tip is really to be patient. Patient is really like the biggest, that's the biggest thing. I always tell people, anybody who has questions about how did I grow my hair so long? How long did it take, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, at the end of the day, you gotta be patient. That's just it. At the end of the day, you have to be patient because it took me years to get my hair this to this link now and it's going to take you years to get to whatever link that you you know are achieving you know depending on the link so you just really have to be patient that's the main thing like like i said you can't compare your hair to everybody else's because then you're going to get discouraged you're going to, you're going to always be thinking about it, like dang am I, why is my hair not growing you know stuff like that it's, it's just not it's not it's not good so just be patient like trust me it'll it'll definitely come It'll definitely come. Um, now, the last tip that I have for you guys is protective style. We all have heard that protective style, protective style, protective style. Protective style is definitely a big factor. Um, if you're not protecting your hair from the elements and things like that, you know, just leave it exposed. And I mean, it's it's so it's not really like it's silly like super bad but it would be better to just protect style because also when you protect the style you're you're tucking it away you don't have to you don't have to worry about your ends breaking off because it's, it's always tucked away in your scalp or even just like um or even just like maintenance wise you don't have to do nothing with it because it's already braided or twisted up so you just wake up in the morning and go about your day you don't really you know worried about oh what am i going to do with my hair today you know what i'm saying it's just way easy way faster just keep your hair protective style constantly and then just go about your day and make sure you maintain your protective styles now effectively that is all the tips i have pretty much that i wrote down uh if i can th i can't really think of any right now but just kind of like off the top those are like the main ones that i thought of um i'm gonna go ahead and continue taking this out uh probably just go ahead and skip forward fast forward this and then just skip to the end so just hold on Uh, so actually my camera's about to die, but this is kind of like the initial takedown of my hair. Um, didn't want to make this video too long, just kind of like a quick little update. Like, yo, you know, don't, I hope y'all forget about me. Like, I'm still here. I'm still around. Uh, this wasn't like the best twist out because I kind of like threw something in there last minute because it was like really dry and I decided to take it out. So it doesn't really look the best right now, but you know what? That's okay. It's cool. Um, I'm actually kind of need to get somewhere. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, thank y'all everything for everything. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Any questions, leave down in the comments below. Um, semester's almost over, so when I'm done with that, um, I will definitely be back on my video grind and all that good stuff. Trying new things, you know. Hope you guys like the content um, to, to come, the content to come. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it. I appreciate you guys. It's your boy, Pretty Boy Sean. And we out.